Alright, this is a tutorial video for the first song I ever learned on guitar, Unwinding Cable Car. Um, I had some requests for this song. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing when I'm playing, so I can't be like entirely exact, but I'll do my best. Um, I can at least tell you where to put your fingers and stuff. So um, basically the song starts out with this little riff right here. It's like a melody on um, uh, the 6th fret. G string and fourth fret B string. So it goes kind of something like this. And while that's happening, the second guitar, you don't have to play this, but if you have a buddy, would play this um, little riff right here. Oops, there we go. So what that is, that is the 7th fret A string and the 9th fret of the D string. You can tell I've never done a tutorial before. Alright, and then right underneath you have the 9th fret of the G string and then 8th and then 6th. So. And then you do the ninth fret of the D string, or the sorry, the A, the D string, yeah. So it's so that's the beginning. It starts out like, and then the riff goes up here, the little melody. It's and that's all going on during this. So it's. And this part right here is 7th of the E and then 9th of the A. And you really got to stretch your pinky out. This kind of sucks if you're starting out. Um, then it's the 11th on the, uh, the D. So it's... And then you just slide that whole thing down two frets. And then you just repeat this again twice. And that's like, right after all that, it's like that's the intro. That's where the song starts. So the one dude's doing this. And all that other stuff is happening in the other guitar. And then when you're ready, you start out with the actual chords. So these are just three chords. That's why this song was so easy for me to learn uh, as a newbie. I mean, it wasn't super easy because, you know, it's hard when you're starting out. Basically, this is a uh, series of just movable power chord shapes. The first one is a C sharp minor. Since you're in the key of E, it's pretty easy, or C sharp minor. Um, what you do is you put your index finger on the fourth fret of the A string, and then you put your ring finger two frets up, so that would be the sixth fret of the D string and the pinky right underneath, which would be the sixth fret of the G string, and you play all three. So that's your basic power chord shape. But since this is in the key of E, you can strum all the way down. You don't hit this top one up here. This is important. It'll sound really bad if you hit this. So leave this one. Sometimes I use my middle finger to just kind of mute it. It's really easy when you're playing power chords. And then don't let your hand snuff out these bottom ones down here. So lift up the top of your hand, kind of move your elbow towards the guitar, and then just strum all the way down. And see how nice that sounds. This is the only key where you can do this. If you try it like in another key, it sounds like crap. But uh, in the key of E or a C sharp minor, you can do it like this. So that's the first chord. And then you move it down two frets. So here it would be, you know, uh, second fret with the root here and your index finger, and then, you know, uh, these two would be on the uh, fourth fret. So, and then you slide it all the way up, and this part's a little tricky for a newbie because, uh, you know, it's not the same shape. Basically here, throw your thumb over top to mute this E string, because you don't want to, like, have it sound out, it'll sound bad. And then have this A open, and then put your 
ring finger and your pinky finger on the second fret of the D and the G string, and then strum all the way through with these guys open. So uh, the strumming pattern of the song is kind of weird. I actually like started to do worse when I got better at uh, playing other songs on the guitar because the strumming pattern on this song is just to keep the rhythm. It's a little unusual, so just kind of try to watch my right hand. I'm going to play it as slow as I can without screwing up. So it's... It's literally just that over and over again for the whole song. Uh, it changes one other part, uh, and I'll show you that in a sec. But while this is happening, um, the other guitar does the melody. But it's a little different than the, in the intro. So you would do, you know, a 9, 8, 6, 9, and then slide this down. Um, this is a little weird for uh, people that are starting out because I kind of slide with my pinky. If you wanted to, you could play it up here. And this is um, the, what is this, 5th, 4th. Yeah, I, I, think I, I think it's better to play it here because you can slide and kind of make it sound nicer. So basically a 9 on the, uh, what is it, G strat, yeah, uh, G string. <laughs> Whoops. You slide here, and then it goes. So you slide all the way down, and then you put your index finger right here on the 2nd fret of the D string. So basically after that, you go two frets up, so that becomes the fourth fret, same string. So. And then the sixth fret, and then you do it again. But after that, the second time, you come up here to the fourth fret of the A string. So the whole thing together sounds like this. do that again during the strumming, he does it twice. And then after that he doesn't really do much, it's just kind of like the same riff um, over top of the chords and that sounds good. I mean it's not perfect, but uh, if you're playing it with a friend it'll sound good. But basically the main part of the song if you're playing just by yourself is these three chords. Um, that happens throughout the whole song until one part where it starts going. And that's just this A chord here and the B chord again. So it's the same chords you already know. So when it starts changing up and he starts going. And you can kind of start getting it into it there because uh, that's where he's really building up. During that part, the second guitar plays a little melody kind of that sounds like this. kind of hard, um, at least right here, for somebody starting out, but basically it's, it's easy in the beginning. You just put uh, any of your fingers on the second fret of the G string, and then just kind of go one, and then the other two are open. So G, B, E, and then put your pinky or one of your other fingers down on the E string, so it's uh, two, open, two. back. And this is where it's kind of weird. Uh, you, you move up then to the same B string, you go 4, 5, and then pinky on the 7th of the E string. And uh, then it goes right back to this again. And you know what the whole... Um, once again, at the very end of the song, when like it's about to end, he goes back into this, you know, riff with the same stuff, with you know, and then um, right at the very end, the song ends on this note, and basically that's it. So uh, that's how you play the song. But if you really just want to impress your friends, just throw the song on, and then just play these three chords to the song playing in the background, and you'll sound amazing, you know. 
that's pretty much all there is to it. I uh, hope you didn't confuse you too bad. This is my first lesson. So uh, let me know how it goes. Talk to you all later.